So the main focus of the day is to try to get students to get more enthusiastic about maths, to, to see that maths is more than just doing endless equations and shuffling things around the page because their teachers told them to. So I'm doing a session on co-working, which we hope is, is something that they'll find, uh, they'll find interesting. Um, this is something that we teach uh, at the advanced level at Guild University, um, but I'm showing them some simple kind of ideas for breaking some, some simple codes, and they're, they're trying to find clues for their murder mystery. Well, um, we're doing the, the a kind of code breaking challenge where um, we've got to work out a code using um, oh, you can't a certain method of moving yeah. the letters like three across in the alphabet. So. If we say um, uh, M was E, then you'd have to follow it on to N O P, which would be F G H. It's quite confusing, but um, we've all kind of got the hang of it. Where are you at your o'clock? Answer, come on. Don't you know? I'm trying, I'm trying to get the students so any anxiety they have, any, uh, or if they laugh, that's always a, a good thing to do. Um, so I, that's my my job's been. We've been sort of kind of going through the motions of what they do with the blood pressure meter, and then I come along as the detective and sort of trying to freak them out. Or my activity. Uh, well, well, my activity is. Actually, uh, we, we had a, got a, a hairdressing uh, activity, but the hairdresser was unable to come. So as mass champion, I've stepped in um, to do a thing on the hair proportions. And what we've got is we've got a, um, we're finding out who the most attractive child is in our group. And we're using a maths equation to work. And it's all based around the golden uh, rectangle or the golden meat. And basically what the kids have to do is, is they measure the height, the full height, and then divide it by the height to the neighbor. We're doing this, we're using the laser measurement, it gets the most active weight, using the base um, website to get the biases from So we're just trying to make it um, so Do you think maths is more um, relevant to real to everyday life now? Yes, uh, maths is relevant to everyday life because we have to do do it to complete our everyday actions. And what's been your favourite part of the day so far? Uh, this what we're doing right now is one of our favourites, building the molecules. Off. And uh, is this a better way to learn maths? Yes, it is better. This is a better way to learn maths because you're not stuck in, in a classroom just with a teacher just talking. You're actually getting involved. And um, do you think you know who the murderer is yet? I think it might be uh, the son because, well, actually the daughter because she's got 101 ways uh, to make to make poison to library. So. Do you know who Cooper is? I do, but but I'm not saying. Do <laughs> you know who the writer is? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the crime scene room. So this is where the murder took place, and there is quite a few um, different different mathematical tasks that have to be done. So the first thing is we've got to do a scale drawing of the crime scene, make sure that they um, place everything in the right places. They also, um, over this table here, they need to do a um, scatter graph um, to compare data and have a look at heights and foot lengths. Uh, we're here helping with the Maths Festival. We've arranged uh, some activities in what we've called the Puzzle Room. There are five tables with different things on and the, uh, the children come in, they're split into the five groups. They spend a few minutes on each activity and then rotate round and uh, hopefully learn something and do something different to what they normally do in the classroom.
the Lord, and his dad didn't give him anything. And the Lord had a love affair with Mrs. Sausage. Perfect. <coughs> so, CSI Miami Hayes, you like to come to the to get happy? This is the top two. Thank you. environment to add some fun and for it to be a memorable maths day that they could take forward for the rest of their lives. Okay.